Chelsea and Wesley Fofano, who has now completed his move to the West London club from Leicester City. It is a £70 million fee plus a possible £5 million in add-ons. Fofana had completed a medical in America and has now signed a seven-year deal. And this is what he's had to say about this move. The last two days have been really big days for me and I'm really happy. I trained this morning with the team and it's a dream for me. I'm very excited to start playing games for the fans and the club. I'm here to win trophies. The Champions League, Premier League, FA Cup, Carabao Cup, everything. I came here to win and the club is built to win trophies, so I'm here to continue that. In terms of the chairman, Todd Bowley, he's had this to say. Wesley is a hugely promising defender who has already proven his quality in the Premier League at a young age. We are delighted we were able to bring one of Europe's most exciting talents to Chelsea and further strengthen that area of our squad, both for this season and many more to come. So Chelsea have got their man, but they've had to pay a huge fee to get their man because it puts him in the top five for most expensive transfers for a defender. Fafana's move to Stamford Bridge makes him the second most expensive defender of all time, with Harry Maguire's move from Leicester to Manchester United, the only deal to have cost more. The £75 million paid for Fafana matches what Liverpool paid for Virgil van Dijk and eclipses the fees paid for Lucas Hernandez and Matthias De Ligt. And that £75 million signing also pushes Chelsea further clear at the top of the Premier League highest spenders this summer in Todd Burley's first transfer window as Chelsea owner. They've now spent £268 million, almost £80 million more than the team currently in second place, who are West Ham with 179.15. Carvey, it's finally got over the line. Chelsea finally have their man. And it'd be, it'd be fair to say, in, in terms of the deal, the, the chairman, the owner, Todd Burley, when you look at the Chelsea website, has put himself front and centre of this deal. Well, look, he is the, he is the interim sporting director at the moment. So he's the one who's really doing uh, all these deals and taking the lead. And Thomas Tuchel told him uh, a couple of months ago that he wanted Wesley Fofana. They wanted two centre-backs. They got Kalidou Koulibaly, they also wanted Wesley Fofana. Problem was that Leicester didn't want to sell him. And if they were going to sell him, it was going to be, we were led to believe, close to a world record mm. fee for a defender. They wanted around £80 million. So Chelsea getting him for slightly less than that. They made quite a lot of bids, £50, £60 million pounds before that. And the player himself, he's had to put a little bit of pressure on Leicester as well because players can play their own part in making these deals happen. Mm. Brendan Rodgers himself spoke about the fact that Fafana's behaviour has been a little bit different, for instance, to Harry Maguire's behaviour when he got his move to yeah. Manchester United. Maguire just got his head down and carried on playing till the move happened. Fafana, we saw him a couple of years ago, he put a lot of pressure on Saint-Etienne to force them to sell him uh, to Leicester. West Ham were also interested. And again, this summer, uh, by his behaviour, he's sort of back Leicester into a little bit of a corner. But at the end of the day, Leicester will think, this is a guy we only had for two years. Uh, he's had a real serious injury. He was out for seven months. He's only played 40 times. So getting £70 million, pounds, doubling, doubling your money in two and a half years, I think is a good deal uh, for Leicester as well. As far as Chelsea are concerned, this guy is the best young centre-back uh, in the business. But... The only issue is he still hasn't played for France. Mm. You're talking about £70 million on a player who's not uh, an international yet. But if he carries on developing the way he has been, uh, he is going to be an exceptional player.